I have a powerful, a powerful, powerful revelation, um, prophetic teaching tonight. Hallelujah. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say with me, neighbor. Neighbor. You're in for a big surprise. You're in, you're in for a big surprise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The title of this teaching is called Don't Complain. Learn to be persecuted. Ooh. Don't complain. Learn to be persecuted. I'm going to yeah. release to you a prophetic key. Thank you for that person that said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of that. Jesus. Don't <laughs> complain. Learn to be persecuted. You know, in this walk with God, you're always going to be persecuted. You know, people are always going to persecute you. Um, people are always going to talk about you. People are always going to envy you, hate you. So if they did it to Jesus, they're going to do it to you. How many say amen? amen. amen. So, so neighbor, don't complain. Learn to be persecuted. Get, get in the bus and let's go, Gus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> And we're going forward in Jesus' name. We're going forward. Going forward. You know, next, next, um, I don't, I think if it's this Sunday or next Sunday, they're going to change the time. And what God is doing, he's accelerating the, the, the time. How many say amen? Amen. amen. He's, he, he's moving fast. So you and I have to move very fast with God because there's a lot of work to be done, a lot of things to do for the kingdom, and God is ready to use us like never before. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Don't complain. Learn to be persecuted. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 12. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. So God is saying here tonight, people of God, you know what? Don't complain. Don't be crying that you're being persecuted. You know, learn to accept it. And, and God even says, be glad. Because you know what? There's coming a reward from heaven unto your life in this year, 2023. How many amen. say amen? Hallelujah. You can give a clap offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say with me, neighbor. 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 You're in for a big surprise. You're in for a big surprise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 7. Acts, chapter 22, verse 7. The Bible says, And I fell unto the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutes thou me? This is when the Apostle Paul was persecuting the church, when he was persecuting and killing the Christians. And, and all of a sudden, the voice of God comes and tells him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So what God is saying in this season, anyone that is persecuting you is persecuting Jesus. Anyone that is hating you, anybody that is attacking you, is attacking Jesus. So Amen. let me tell you, in this season, God is about to arise and your enemies are about to be scattered in Jesus' name. How many say amen? amen. amen. Say, neighbor, neighbor your, neighbor, your enemies are about to disappear in front of your face. Are about to disappear in front of your face. So don't complain. Amen. So don't, complain. don't complain. Learn to be persecuted. Learn to be persecuted. How many say amen? Amen. God bless Amar in Los Angeles, Pastor Richard in Florida, Tamara in Florida, Sarah, Diane in Florida, Carmen in Allenton, Pennsylvania, um, Alexa, Evangelist Alexa in Santa Barbara. Hallelujah and Evangelist, uh, Ricardo and Evangelist, William um, from Los Angeles. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Eight prophetic keys on learning to be persecuted. Number one, never accept a prison that is not yours. 
there's people in the church in this walk with god that they uh accept you know anything that comes their way no never accept a prison of failure never accept a, a prison of lies uh of discouragement of death of diseases of sickness how many say amen, amen. amen. never accept amen. A, a prison of lack of poverty no never accept accept a prison that is not of god in jesus name how many amen. say amen, amen. Say, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the head and not the tail. I have been set free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Don't accept a prison of stress. Amen. Don't accept a prison of stress. Just rest in God and rest in the peace of God, that peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard your mind and your heart and your emotions and feelings in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So when you learn to rest, the stress will leave and the peace of God that's, that is surpasses all understanding will come immediately to guard your mind, your heart, your feelings and emotions in Jesus Christ. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Number two. Samson was anointed since birth. Samson was anointed since birth. You and I have been anointed since birth. You and I have been called and chosen since birth. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And when and check this out. When when you are anointed since birth, when you are chosen since birth, see we did not know that we were anointed since birth. We did not know that we were chosen and called by God since birth. How many say amen? amen. But until we came to the knowledge of the word of God, of the truth of God, we found that God since before we were in our mother's womb, he knew us and he, and he chose us, he anointed us to do great and mighty things. But when you're anointed, you're going to be persecuted by the enemy and by amen. even people in the church. Nobody said anything. Amen. <laughs> you know, check this out. I have a teaching that God gave me many years back. And I said, and it's titled, Don't Be Scared of the Enemy. Be Scared of the People in the Churches. <laughs> How many know what I'm talking about? Amen. See, that your enemies always <laughs> want to take away one thing from you. And that thing is the power of God. Mm. Amen. Amen. And that is what, and that is Aramayala Ramakanda, and that is exactly what the Philistines, the, the Philistines wanted to take away from Samson. They wanted to know the secret of his power. Yeah. And it was in, in his hair. And yeah. he gave the secret to Delilah, and Delilah betrayed him. And they cut his hair, and so they weakened his power. Mm. Never, I come to give you a gold nugget tonight. Never give your secrets to anyone. Amen. Amen. That's true. I'm gonna even go further. Never share your dreams just to anyone. Amen. You know, because sometimes God gives you a dream, He gives you a promise. And, and you get excited. You want to tell the whole world. But you know what? Not everybody is for you. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Not everybody wants you to succeed in life. You know, I had an incident um, last year, you know, where I gave some information. And you know what? Of a dream. And it was about to happen. And it's been prolonging. But say, neighbor. 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 You're in for a big surprise. How many say amen? amen? Amen. Number three. Hallelujah. See, Samson was in a place of crushing grains. You are probably in a place right now of crushing grains. Amen. amen. You're probably in a place where they even cut your hair. 
And you're probably in a place where they took your eyes out and you're very vulnerable. Mm. Mm. Say, my neighbor, my neighbor, learn to be persecuted. Because when you're pers being persecuted, God, our Heavenly Father, is going to release a reward of special blessing from heaven on you and you and you in Jesus' name. How many say amen? amen. You can give a clap up to the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, my God is good. My God is, good. My God is great. He's in the house today. Samson was had a better vision than than when he had his natural eyes. Remember, they took his eyes out, and Samson had a better vision, a better prophetic vision than when he had his natural eyes. Amen. See, see, when he didn't have when he when he was blinded, when they took his eyes out. It's like if we close our eyes, you know, and God wants you to see in the spirit realm and not in the natural. See, now he wasn't seen in the natural. Now he was seen in the deepness of the spirit realm. How many say amen? Amen. amen. See, God knew his mission and God knows your mission. How many say amen? Amen. And, that, and this mission is to destroy your enemies. Samson's mission was to destroy the Philistines. How many say amen? Amen. You're supposed to destroy, you know, persecution. You're supposed to destroy poverty. You're supposed to destroy stress. You're supposed to destroy this and that. But you have to see with the eyes of the spirit. How many say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say, God has not given me a spirit of fear. God is not giving me a spirit. But a spirit of power. A spirit of power. See, that's what the enemy wants to steal from you and I, the power, because once he steals the power and he weakens you, then fear comes in and says, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die. But I come to prophesy to somebody today, your dreams are not going to die. They're going to be resurrected in this third month. That says the Lord. How many say amen? Give us amen. that to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Number five. God permitted. See, everything that happens in life, God permits it to happen. He permits the devil to attack us because he wants to teach us so we can learn things from our situations from our persecutions. How many say amen? amen? So number five, God permitted this situation so that Samson could see in the spirit realm. Amen. Not with his natural eyes, but with his spiritual eyes, with his prophetic eyes. How many are going to see with their prophetic eyes, with their spiritual eyes in this year 2023? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you better start practicing just closing your eyes so you can see deeper and farther in Jesus' name. Amen. Number six. In this year, you have to go to the root of the situation and destroy every enemy from the root. You can no longer be playing games with the enemy. You can no longer let the enemies Conquer and take advantage of the situations that you're going through. You got to come to the place and say, enough is enough. Today, I cut the head of the giant and, 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 I, and I get on top of the giant and I destroy it to the root in Jesus' name. How many say amen? amen. The reason, see, David, he got the slingshot. And, and and he threw it through the rock and it hit the Goliath and he knocked him out. But you know what? He said, no, 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 no. I'm going to make sure that he's dead because <laughs> I don't want him to get up. So he ran and he got on top of him and he cut his head off. I'm going to tell you, I had a, an experience 
See, God can always talk to you through every any situation in life. I'm going to say amen. amen. He, he, he spoke, God spoke to me through a fly. Una mosca. The fly was coming. Now, get away from it. And it will go. And that's the way many people of God are. I rebuke you, Satan. In the name of Jesus, get away from here. But the devil comes back. How many say amen? amen. The Bible says he leaves, but he, he always comes back. And this fly was coming. And, and, and I said, oh, my God, what, what, what can I do? And say, revelation came to Prophet Reuben. Revelation. And God spoke to me, said, son, get the fly swatter. That's why the fly swatter is there to kill the fly. And I, oh, thank you, Jesus, that you have opened my eyes today. Now I'm sitting in the spirit and not in the natural. How many say amen? Amen. amen. So the fly is coming. Zoo, zoo, and I get the fly swatter. Boom. I hit it, and the fly falls down, and I looked at it, and I said, it's dead. And then so when I turn around, to my surprise, at the corner of my eyes, the fly gets up and, and flies away, you know. And that's wow. when the revelation came to me. He said, you know what you should have did? You should have did what David did. He knocked on the giant. He got on top of the giant, and he cut his head. You should have. When you knock down the fly, you should have stepped on it and make sure that fly was dead. Oh, amen. Thank you, Lord. I got yes. the revelation. Yes. <laughs> and for amen. next time, I'm going to make sure that my giants do not arise any longer amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Give a clap offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We exalt you tonight. We, exalt we lift Jesus. your name on high in Jesus' name. name on high. Number seven. Jeez. You have to start focusing on yourself. If you want to go higher in this year, you have to start focusing on yourself and not on others. Amen. You have to take away, like saying, you know what? Who cares what, what they're doing? I just got to make sure that I'm doing the right thing with God. Amen. Amen. Because that's what's going to make you go forward and go higher in 2023. Yes. How many say amen? Amen. amen? amen. So for you, the secret is if you want to go higher, if you want to go forward, you have to you have to focus on yourself and stop focusing on others. How many amen. say amen? Amen. amen. <laughs> You know, it's really something what God revealed to me, you know, through this teaching. You know what he told me? You want to know? Yeah. Tell us. Amen. Check, check, that, check this out. Check this out. There's people that are managing others' finances and other people's life. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, they're always, oh, my God, they're. They're making this much of money. Oh, they got a brand new car. Oh my God, he, he, they, 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 um, she brought a new, a new dress. Oh, he brought a new suit. Oh my God, you know, they're focusing on others and you're not focusing on your destiny and your promises in God. Nobody said anything. <laughs> I think I'm stepping on some toes tonight. Hallelujah. See, the disciples were focusing on the woman that poured the perfume on Jesus. Remember that? Yeah. And yeah. what did the disciples say? You stupid woman. They didn't say that, but I'm just putting it. <laughs> because then they're going to say, oh, the prophet said that it says there. No, no. I'm just using revelation. How many say amen? Amen. amen. They said, man, you stupid woman, you, all that money, you wasted it. You could have met the poor. And Jesus said, don't worry, be happy. The poor, you'll always have them with you. In other words, I'm going to put it in 2023. The homeless, you'll see them everywhere you go. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And, and number eight, and this is the last prophetic key. 
you have to prophesy and meditate on the prophetic word of God that God told you. You always have to see what God says about your situation. Amen. Amen. If you, I don't know why, but I'm going to put this like this. If you have, if your blood pressure is sky high, all you need to do is you just need to you need to relax. Amen. You need to not worry about this or that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the same God that blessed you with that house, he's going to bless you to pay for that house. Woo! And, 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 and God, when you start giving, God will start pouring into your life like never before. Amen. That's why God has connected me to you as, as your prophet, as your spiritual father, as your mentor tonight, so that he can get you out of those situations Amen. and push you forward into the Amen. revelation of the situations in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So you, tonight, you have to go you know, one thing that the many of God's people don't do, you know, they, they, they don't they don't write. They don't write. Look at this. This is this is just not even 50% of the message of the teaching. You know, we and, and, and you, you don't write things like today. Oh, uh, on Wednesday, um, Papa Ruben, Prophet Ruben, Wednesday. March the 8th, 2023 at 7 p.m., you know, he gave this word. And when you look at it later on, you're going to, you're going to, oh, my God. The prophet spoke about this. He thought about this. So this is what I have to meditate. God has given you many prophetic words, but you have not taken heed to the prophetic word. So you have to go back to those prophetic words. How many say amen? Amen. And you have to see what God has said about your situation. Amen. God says you shall live and not die. God says you and all your family are going to be saved. Amen. As long as you're serving God, guess what? Their salvation has come to your house. How many say amen? Amen. If, if, if the enemy puts sickness, well, God says by his stripes I'm healed. I have to meditate on the word of God daily. I tell everybody, this is for life. You have to say this for life in your prayers, in your declarations, in your prophetic declarations, day after day after day. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Say neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. I'm about to kill some Philistines in this year. I'm about to kill Philistines. And I'm not just going to swat them. But I'm going to crush them I'm and cut their, heads cut their heads in Jesus' name. Cut their heads in Jesus' name. Say, I have learned tonight. I have, I have learned, learned tonight. Not to complain. Not to, not to complain. But to learn to be persecuted. To learn to, learn to be persecuted. Because it comes with a reward from heaven. Because, because it comes with a reward from heaven. If you believe it, give a clap up into the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor. neighbor. You're neighbor. in for a big surprise. You're in, You're in for a big surprise. Quickly, um, what did you... Um, Learn tonight, um, Diane. Hello, Papa. Hallelujah. Hello, Papa. Hello, if everyone. Take, if take care. Apostle Cash. We're gonna have Apostle Cash from Maryland, Apostle Danielle Banja from Uganda, and your servant, Prophet Ruben, um, the prophetic worship team, Alpha and Omega. I'm gonna tell you, it's going to be powerful. And we're going to have it on Zoom, just um, um, part of it. And then uh, is it going to be all on Zoom, Evangelist Alexa, or what? Yeah, it should be. Okay, so we'll give you the, the Zoom link 
So you can be blessed, those that cannot come. You know, let me tell you, it's going to be a powerful, powerful two-day conference with signs, wonders, and miracles. Be expecting something great from God. How many say amen? Amen. Um, this, this Saturday, we have um, two uh, prophetic meetings, one in the morning, one in the evening in Fresno, California. Um, be praying for us. It's going to be um, another storm. So, um, But we got to go through the storm to get to the other side. How many say amen? Amen. There it is. Hallelujah. That's the morning. The morning service. And I don't know. We have the evening service of the flyer. Hallelujah. The evening Thank service you. is at 530. I can get the flyer. Can you get the flyer and put it up? Yes. In just a minute. Here. Thank you. We appreciate that. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, in the, in the Bible it says, and these signs will follow those that believe. You know, the, the, the signs, the, the blessings, say the blessings. The blessings. They come with a price. In the, in the word of God it says, and these signs and these blessings, comma, will also come with persecution. So the blessings will always come with a, perse with a persecution. Um, how many times have you got blessed and then right after the enemy comes and attacks you? Mm -hmm. Because he's trying to steal your joy from that blessing. How many say amen? amen. Can, did you find it, evangelist? Yes, it's on its way. Okay. Wow, you're prophesying that you come its way. <laughs> That's not here. <laughs> there not it here. is. Sunday, hallelujah, in the evening. This is going to be a, a Spanish service. And let me tell you that it's going to be powerful. Um, God, God did an extraordinary miracle um, with, with um, a brother. Um, he beat up his wife um, really bad. And they told me if, we, if I could go and pray for them. But it ended up being a service. And I prophesied to him because they, they wanted to give him six months to a year and I told him that he wasn't going to do not even 30 days um, in jail and, and um, that that would been been the most um, that he, they will give him and, or even nothing. So glory to God, they took away the fine and they took away the time that they're going to give him. They suspended it, but they gave him a 30, a 30 um, day um, what is it called? A restriction? What is that called? Huh? A restraining no, order? a restraining order. They gave him a 30 day okay. restraining order. So he's all real sad. And I tell him, brother, you should be glad and rejoicing that because God's trying to teach, give, teach you a lesson that mm -hmm. what you did, never to do it again. Now he's in a corner. If, if he does hit his wife or if he does, doesn't pass a test, they're going to give him a year to two years in prison, and they're going to get a restraining order for five years. Wow. So, so it, sometimes God permits things, and he gives you like a little warning, a little chance like to see if you're going to get it together. How many say amen? Amen. 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 My God is great. My God is great. My God is good. My God is good. He's in the house today. He's in the house it's today. It's time to get to sow your seed. I really... Today is the eighth day. I, I want you to sow the special seed of a new beginning um, in your life. In, in, in this day, I want you to sow a seed of $8, of, um, of $88, of 188 or 1,088, or something that ends with an eight or starts with an eight, and, 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 or 88. I also, um, the Lord told me 88. It will be also 88, 188. But may the Lord bless your seed. You can sow it through um, Cash App or through Zell. There's a whole information there. I want to pray for your seed, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless this seed, Father. I put an assignment to this seed, Father God, that your people will learn to be persecuted, that, but that their reward is coming from heaven, Lord that they will focus on the blessing and not on the persecution. 
help them and strengthen them to keep on going forward like never before, Lord God. Meet every need, Father. You know their names. You know their needs, Father God. You know exactly what's in their heart, exactly what something is going on, Father God. Father God, that situation, turn it around. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree it done. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people Amen. in victory say, Amen. 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 I want right now, just real quickly, two quick testimonies, what God did in your in your life in these couple of days. I wanna I wanna choose Diane. Hallelujah, one of them. Wanna testify? Yes. Um this I'm usually more of a healthy person, uh not with the eating health habit, but um lately my how do I say this? One day I just woke up. It was sometime, I think a couple of days ago. Um, my blood pressure was really, really high. And I woke up not feeling good. I was so dizzy, didn't know what was going on. I didn't know till later that my blood pressure. And I was throwing up and doing all of that. Um, but thank God that my family was there to help me when I needed help, like my sisters. And um, when I really needed help, my sister contacted me to ask to pray for me. And ever since then, um, and I've been following what you've told me, my life has been very, it's been getting close to normal. And I haven't, I didn't need to go to the hospital. I didn't need to go to the doctor, I didn't need to do any of those things. Amen. But exactly, the doctor prescribed, <laughs> the head doctor prescribed, and what what you, Papa, have told me. So that's exactly what I've done. And my blood pressure, does, uh, um, I believe it was in the 130 for 90 something, which was in the normal range. So I praise God. But before what Amen. was it? Before what was it? One the highest that day, it was up to 170 over, I believe it was 110, something like that. But it was really high. And yes. it's not the normal number for me, you know, yeah. and through this process, it taught me um, one to obey. God. God tells you to fast. He's going to get you to do it one way or another. And two, to always and always recognize in your life for a reason. Because if it wasn't send you to me, Papa, or my sisters, I, would, I don't know. <laughs> where I, I, I have a, a word that God is putting in my spirit right now for all of you. He's saying, don't let the enemy um, put guilt in your conscience, in your minds, in your spirit in this season. The Lord says, everyone chooses what they want to choose, but you choose life instead of death in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Amen. a prophet is really something, you know, that, you know, I was um, ministering to um, Diane and I was telling her what medications to take um, and how to take it and and you know all these instructions and I'm telling you a prophet God will always use a prophet as a doctor as a psychiatrist psychologist whatever the situation is God will always use the the prophet to prosper you in all areas in your life how many amen. say amen amen, amen. So, um, Evangelist Carmen, do you have a testimony to give God um, the glory? Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Um, yeah, I've been praying lately for my income for increase. Uh, and I, I'm not, it's not that I'm a type of person that I don't um, plant seed because I love to plant seed no matter yeah. what area and whichever yeah. direction in my life. And um, I would think that maybe something was blocking that. So I was praying for that too. So lately I've been seeing that increase in my income. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, amen. Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you put, can you put the, the information to sow their seed tonight? Yeah. You can do it through Zelle, Cash App, Walmart to Walmart, 
Um, you can send it. Um, there is an info right there. Hallelujah. And remember, today is the number eight. So it's going to be a seed of a new beginning. Yes. A new beginning in, 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 in everything in your life. Today, everything turns around in your life. I decree it done in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that our God will supply all your needs according to your riches and glory. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Ah, oh, Veronica is on the on the line. Hallelujah. God bless you, Vero. Thank you. Good evening. Hallelujah. Do you have something to share that you would like to share tonight of anything? No, not tonight. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise it. Thank you for being on the Zoom meeting. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. You. So, Sorry, I was late. <laughs> It is better late than, than, than never, right? Than <laughs> never. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, G Jesus was late, you know, when he went to Lazarus. So it was better that Jesus was late than not even showing up. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So put up the, the conference. I want you guys to really, um, those that, 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 can come come to this conference there's going to be very powerful mm. uh, apostle cash he has the anointing of the finances every every time he prays for people their finances automatically and rapidly it increases and it multiplies and 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 and, and like he says miracle money from heaven comes into your hands and uh apostle and prophet um daniel banja from uganda africa he will be um, here, and he has the uh, the gifts of signs, wonders, and miracles. And let me tell you that God, if you need Amen. a miracle, I suggest for you to be here in, in Bakersfield, California. People are flying from Florida. Um, um, Pastor uh, <clears throat> Pastor Richard and his wife Ta Tamara are gonna be here, you know, for a week. Hallelujah. I'm going to say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's give a clap offering to Amen. them. Hallelujah. Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Say neighbor. 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 You're in for a big surprise. You're in for a big surprise. So um, reminding you this Sunday, we have our, our service uh, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Hallelujah. And then the following weekend is the conference. So... May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord multiply your seed. May the Lord meet every need according to your riches and glory. May his peace rest in your sleep tonight. May mm -hmm. he give you a peaceful and a restful sleep. May he meet that need. The Lord says not to worry, but to rest in him. For he is your peace. And I speak peace to every kind of storm, peace to every kind of situation. The Lord says, believe in him, the Lord Jesus Christ, you and all your family will be saved. God bless Amen. you. I love you. Amen. And until we meet again, God bless. Amen. Good night. Amen.